Hey guys, it's your girl Chrissy Mack and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing how I felt during and after dialysis. Being on dialysis is what kept me alive, but it was not an easy process at all. They have to filter your blood to take out all the excess water because your kidneys are not filtering so you're not peeing as often. And they also have to get rid of the toxins. So if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. So I'm gonna be discussing the top five symptoms that I experienced while going through dialysis. Everybody's body is different, but this is just for me. So symptom number one is fatigue. I was always tired, and I mean always tired. See this bed? I lived in it on my dialysis days, which was Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Being on that machine for hours at a time just drained my body. So when I was at dialysis, I used to talk, try to stay up, but once I got home, I completely crashed. I was on this bed for hours at a time. My kids and my husband knew not to mess with me. They would just give me that alone time because my body used to shake and I noticed what helped me was eating, making sure that I eat a meal as soon as I got home. Number two is vomiting and just being nauseous at all times. Just the smell of food, especially the smell of meat, it just made me sick to my stomach. I used to vomit all over, trash cans, plastic bags, in the sink, it doesn't matter. I was just always vomiting and feeling nauseous. The third symptom that I experienced was a loss of appetite. I had no desire to eat. I had lost so much weight that, you know, eating just made me sick. So just the loss of my appetite that I, I noticed that. So the fourth symptom that I experienced was low blood pressure. There was days where I had high blood pressure, but low blood pressure affected me worse. So how about this story? So when my blood pressure dropped low one day because I wasn't monitoring it, I felt my body fading away. And when I tried to get help, I was too weak. I couldn't even do it. So when they found me, I was covered in vomit. I was foaming out of the mouth. I do remember them saying, Chrissy, Chrissy, are you okay? Don't go nowhere, come on. They were asking me questions, just trying to make sure that I was okay. They put a cold compressant on my forehead. They kept rubbing me. They kept trying to wake me up. And once I came back and they told me the story, I was terrified. I never wanted to experience that again. So what I do now, I actually monitor my blood pressure at all times. I turn that machine facing me so I can see what's happening early. So the last symptom that I experienced was dry skin. I mean, my skin was completely dry. I had dry spots and it used to itch all the time. I was trying different lotions and everything just to help with that itching because my body just made me feel like I was a crackhead. Oh my gosh. So I finally just decided to use some coconut oil and that helped moisturize my skin so I had less itching. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you know someone that can benefit from seeing this video, share it with them. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video.